So, Omegle got shut down forever. Good fucking riddance. There was so much degenerate filth on Omegle that you could honestly make an entire documentary, probably like a few more documentaries based off of the amount of degeneracy that happened on there. Plus it also brought us Gypsy Crusader, and if you actually have a fucking brain and common sense, you would know Gypsy Crusader is fucking garbage. I mean, what else would you expect from a second-rate Sam Hyde? You're gonna give me what I want. You know what it is. Give me what I want. You know what I want. I've been asking for it for years. You're gonna give me what I want, or I'm gonna continue to hurt people you love. I give me what I want. Give me what I want. It's funny to me that people actually feel bad that Omegle is gone, or well, Omega, whatever you want to fucking call it, is gone. Like again, this platform has had nothing but suffering and everything and just any degenerate stuff you could name attached to its name. And people still feel the need to just feel bad that it's gone. Like there's so much horror stories from Omegle that you could honestly just write many, many, many documentaries, probably even an own anthology based around it. And some of the content creators that built their whole entire identity off of Omegle as a whole is just like, fucking why? Like, yeah, it's kind of funny when you meet the weirdos and you're just kind of roasting the weirdos, but then you have the ones that are the actual weirdos. Like, some people have uploaded videos of them being degenerates to people on Omegle, and they've uploaded it here onto YouTube, and people just glossed over it. It wouldn't surprise me if places like Discord got shut down because of these similar situations and whatever. Rest in piss, Omegle, your legacy was garbage. It consisted of nothing but people going there for quick fucks, grooming circles, degenerosity, and Gypsy Crusader. What a joke of a legacy.